What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, the best place to learn the ArcVis build. In today's video, I'll show you how to turn a dry road into a wet road. This is great to add special vibe to your image and make it pop from the rest. So, let's get started. So we're gonna start with a very basic road material. Let's take a look. We have a diffuse map and a reflection and glossiness map, which also connected to the bump. I'll open up the interactive render. And as you can see, this is quite boring road material. So now we're gonna turn it into something much more interesting. We're gonna first, as always, look at some reference images and start to analyze the image in order to replicate it in 3D. So let's have a look here. I've got some images of a wet road. We can see in this close-up that we have a reflection, almost unified reflection of the water on top the uh, asphalt material. So I can think about it as a base layer of a much darker road and more reflective and we can add another layer for the puddles which are also making the color of the road even darker and obviously much smoother almost like a mirror-like reflections and we can see the scattering of the puddles can change and vary in different shapes and forms so let's start with the basic layer. Let's move it over here. Now, first of all, as we can see, the road should be much darker. So I'm gonna add color correction to the, to the diffuse. And let's reduce the gamma a bit. maybe 0.6 okay now I want the reflection to be much more unified so let's decrease the effect of the reflection and glossiness maps Let's make the color of the reflection white. And let's increase the glossiness to about 0.9. And I want to change the IOR to something similar to water. Let's go with point 1.5, maybe increase the glossiness even more. So for now, I think the base layer could work right now. We can see that it is much more reflective. And now we're ready to add the next layer. I'm going to add a Corona layer material. Connect the wet road to the base material. Double click the layer material and I'm going to copy it to the next layer as a copy. Okay, so now let's work on the puddles. Go inside the material. Now for the puddles, I want to reduce the bump almost completely for now. Let's turn it off. And I wanted to have a glossiness of almost mirror-like. I'm going to disable the reflection and glossiness maps and make the diffuse even darker. We can even just change it from here, 0.7. 
Now, obviously, we need to apply it to the road plane. Now we have like one big puddle instead of the road. Now, before I will mask the top layer, I want to add a little noise to this uh, puddle, like mimicking small wind effect on the water. So I'm gonna clear the map from here. Let's add a noise map. Okay, let's make a little close up over here. And inside the noise, just a second, I need to turn the bump on. Okay, obviously this is very strong, but for now, I just want to see the effect. Let's make it the size of the noise, maybe one. Maybe do it fractal and reduce the noise amount. Maybe 0.1. This is too much. 0.01. Okay, so this could work quite nice. Now let's add a mask to the puddles. And in here I'm going to Add a bitmap. I've selected this one. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so we have our puddles. Let's change a bit the size of this map. Make it bigger. Okay, now it's stretch along the road. Let's have a nice position. And that's basically it. Stay tuned for next week where I'll show you how to make your road dirty and dusty. In the meantime, make sure to check these two videos over here. And as always, I want to thank you for your support and I really appreciate you. I'll see you next time.